Hi, I'm Dennis Robbins, the CEO at the Hunslet Club. At the club, we work with over 2,000 young people. Uh, we deliver 98 activities a week, from ballet to boxing, football, rugby league, youth clubs. Uh, we're doing youth clubs every night of the week. The Hunslet Club's quite a large uh, facility, and we've got sports hall, we've got gyms, uh, we've got dance studios, fitness suites. Uh, you know, we've got the traditional table tennis and uh, pool tables and hockey tables and so on. Uh, we've got a lot of outdoor space, uh, with 3G football pitches as well. We've got two junior youth clubs and that's from young people aged 8 to 12. Uh, they're on, on a Monday and a Wednesday. And then five nights a week we have our senior youth club which is 13 plus. The youth clubs are really important, they've always been important youth clubs but I think more so now because of the lockdown that we had recently, uh, been in isolation for so long, you know, missing friends, missing socialising and so on. So getting that back up and running to me is essential. We've been absolutely amazed by the amount of young people that have been attending. On one particular Friday evening there was 82 young people at the youth centre. Uh, we provide free meals uh, for those young people because we realise that Young people are coming sometimes straight from school and if they're not leaving until nine o'clock obviously they're not going to get anything to eat so we are providing a healthy option. At the club we make everybody feel welcome. You know, It, it doesn't matter you know, what your financial position is, uh, what your background is, you know, who you are, where you come from. Sometimes young people come in and you know, they come in they're quite shy and, 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 and quiet but after a period of time you can see the confidence growing um, and they realise that the Hunslet Club is their space. At Youth Club we've got uh, qualified youth workers that work with all our young people so that if young people present with any sort of issues or problems you know, we can, we can now send them to our intervention workers who can sit with them, go through those problems because it might be something to do with school, it helps people with the mental health, you know, it takes a little bit of pressure off mum and dad uh, and just gives them that extra support. It's a massive benefit for the community because it means one is that we've got over 2,000 young people you know, attending the Hunslet Club. There's many on each evening, I think the average is around about 270 a night. So if you think 270 young people engaged in positive activity uh, every evening, that's got to help the community. The one thing that holds us back is um, finance. And what we need um, is support from the community and, and mainly from businesses, because the more support that we've got um, financially means that we can do far more than what we're doing now. You know, we want to increase our provision. Our provision is seven days a week, but there are gaps in the provision. And the only way that we can fill those gaps is by having businesses and the community coming together and giving us that support and help so that we can provide more for these young people to keep them off the street and keep them active.